Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are discussing Logic App integrations in detail. Today in this video we will discuss about the liquid templates and how do you debug the liquid template in VS Code. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Peer Learner. Before I start the demonstration of the liquid map, I would like to share some information about liquid map, what those are and how to use those. So liquid maps are the open source product provided from Shopify, which is available here in this particular website. So information is given here on the GitHub website. You can use these templates to map your source data to the destination type. For example, you can map the JSON output to another JSON type or you can use the JSON to XML, XML to JSON or XML to HTML or JSON to HTML as well. It is much more efficient compared to any other built-in custom type of mappers for example AutoMapper or the manual mapper in C Sharp or Java. So if I re refer to the there are a number of examples given if you would like to start learning the GitHub in this particular website. So there are a variety of functions, control options available such as for loop, while loop, if else condition and so and so on, which you can utilize or you can learn from this particular website. There are a lot of examples given which help you to learn the liquid map. One thing this particular website or in Google you will not found about while writing the liquid map, how do you debug or verify your liquid maps at the time of development? And this is what I'm going to discuss in this particular demonstration. For the demonstration, I'll have a Visual Studio Code instance. This is my Visual Studio Code instance. In this instance, I have a liquid map folder. And in this folder, I have a source JSON and my liquid map. I'll show you what is liquid map definition looks like. But let's first of all understand this source JSON. This source JSON is the output of one of the GitHub Open API. The response contains the list of repository from this particular username. So I got a collection of record or a repository in an array. So you can see that this is an array and it, uh, this array contains 29 different record. Obviously, I'm not interested in all these files I would like to extract some of its attribute from the entire JSON. It might possible I would like just the repository description, URL, when it was updated last time and so and so on. To extract such information, obviously I need to have some kind of a mapper. And for that, I can use the liquid map to write my own mapper. Now I'll show you my liquid map, which I have it here. So this is the map.liquid, you can give any name but extension has to be liquid dot liquid extension. So for now is this in this demonstration, I'm calling it as a map dot liquid. If I open this map dot liquid, as we are trying to map an array to array. So I have started with an array and ended with an array. Now as the source will contain an array. So I'm running a for each loop or the for loop in my liquid template. So the Syntax for running the for loop is going to be something like this. It is starts with the content, which means the source data or the source information which you are providing to your liquid template. And then you will have a for loop and the current index of your for loop. Now what we are saying here, you can see that for each record, I'm trying to extract a full name into a name field description into description, reordel into reordel and created by and updated by rest of the fields. We are ignoring it right now. The question which I have asked at the beginning, how do I debug this right to debug this? What we can do is we have one extension available or a tool available, which is live preview. So I'll open my terminal. So I'll open my terminal here while right clicking on this particular folder and then I need to run this command. So the name of the tool which I have installed in this particular Visual Studio Code instance is the liquid preview and then you need to run a command dash dash watch then dash dash content 
the source content location which in this case source.json dash dash template the location of your liquid template and then last attribute which is dash dash output the output file name which you would like to generate output on so as as i said this is my source file this is my liquid template file and this is the output file which is generated which i will delete it just now so now if i run this command that will generate an output as you can see that a new file is been generated with an output i'll open this file in the right side and here you can see that we have a file we have a liquid map which i'll open as well you open that liquid map as well so we got a liquid map and liquid file and all right and the command is still running in a preview mode what does it mean is that we have a source and we have a liquid mode we have an output and this is the output we are getting it let's first of all verify the output according to our map which is this one we are getting output as a name description url created by updated at right updated at let's say with this live instance or with this command as you can see that i am able to get or review the data instantly right now the good thing another good thing about this particular command line tool is i can instantly modify the changes while running this command for example created on if i for example if i modify the liquid template created on or updated on let's say these are the two fields i have updated or i will say repo underscore description so these are the three fields i have updated now as soon as i modify this particular liquid map file let's say save it then you can see that automatically all my outputs are automatically modified without rerunning the command so i am basically looking at a live preview with the help of this command with the changes which i am doing it instantly so this is a pretty cool feature if you would like to debug and test your code while you are debugging it and so i would highly recommend to test this similarly if you would like to modify your source data for example if i modify my source data as in this let's say i'll say first record is rakesh i'll save it you would find that my source data would be changed let me save this Okay, as you can see that it has updated the data at the first record. Now, if I rerun the command again, I'll revert back the changes. I'll save it again. And you can see that the changes should be updated again. There you go. So this is how you can use the live preview tool to test and run your liquid map template while you are in development within the visual studio code to find more information about this particular tool you can go to my blog which i've written on the same and that will have the entire detail how do you install this particular tool what all commands you need to run and what are the different options you have to test your liquid template on visual studio code or on any command line i hope you have found this useful and you would enjoy using the live preview tool to debug your liquid map template thanks for watching it see you in the next video